Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to focus on one man who I believe has tremendous potential upside if he can address one big issue. That man is Stefan Castle. Played at UConn, dominated at UConn, was an absolutely great player, meshed well with the entire team. We're going to look at some of his summer league game film and discuss what he does well, what he potentially struggles with, and why I believe he has a lot of potential upside. So let's go. So the first thing I want to establish right off the bat is I'm not going to talk about defense in particular at all, just because he's a good athlete. He's going to play good defense. Instead, we're going to focus on offense on for Stefan. And so the first thing we're going to focus on offense is his driving ability. So he's a very good athlete. And so we're going to see how that translates to his ability to drive. Okay, so the ball gets kicked out. He has open space. I love this first thought is no hesitation. I'm going to attack him regardless of whether there's a post player in here. And not only the attack, he goes through the player and essentially meets the contact and still has good body control to finish it. Love, love that drive. He has very good athletic ability and very good ball handling as well. And it pairs very nicely together to allow him to create opportunities for himself. So here, slightly in transition, he does a great job moving the ball side to side to essentially get this defender slightly out of position to get him leaning one way, way and then the other and then attack downhill. And again, same thought. He is always thinking, I am going to attack. He okay? does not worry about the contact. And even though he misses this layup in particular, he still gets it to be where it's a great look and has the athletic ability to rise above people that aren't going to be elite rim protectors. And so this is the big thing is if I think you switch somebody on to Stefan Castle, like if you have somebody that's not as athletic, he is going to essentially be able to have his way with him because he's more physical and he's quicker than the majority of individuals out there. And so him being able to be physical and control his body, again, very good control. Even though this is slightly off balance, he gets easily into the paint and then uses his body and strength to get to the rim. And then ultimately, how are teams going to respond to that? They're going to respond to that by essentially sending some form of help. And so we got to figure out whether he's going to be able to essentially punish that help. So can he drive and find open players when that occurs? Okay, so as he goes to drive again, he attacked the high foot right there, the high leg, get him downhill, instantly leaves his defender. And then who's the one open? Probably right here is probably open. He's probably slightly open, but this is the high level pass. And he puts it in a great spot. Okay, 51 steps up slightly. So first he attacks the high leg right here. 18 is slightly out of position, very much out of position. 51 steps up. And so this player is open in this window up above here. And a great pass. Not the cleanest looking pass, but a great location and a great delivery. And again, we see Castle going to come down here in a second. Okay, so we see ball screen is going to be set. Does a great job getting the defender switch one way so that way he can use the ball screen. Great simple little tactic right there. Okay, gets slightly downhill. And then as he gets downhill, there's a very small window, honestly. This is a pretty high-level pass. Zero gets a hand in there. Good job at zero, frankly. But Castle is just patient. I don't know why this player starts putting his hands up like that. But there's a slight window right here to the rolling big, and he finds it a great pass and great awareness to know where that ball is, needs to be. And so his passing on the move, I think, is going to be very good in the NBA as well. And so then more static passing, can he still find those same reads? And my guess is going to be yes. But here's an example as he gets to the inside. And while this probably, I don't know if this was intended to be a bounce pass or not, but this is a good read and then good swing by 25 as well to get it to the open player. And as I talked about in my Tyler Kolick video, it's very important to understand the ability to swing the, pat, the ball when the defense is loading up on one side or the other. Okay, so here we can see essentially getting space for this ball screen right here. This player shades over because he's the one that's going to be tagging, helping the roller. And Castle is able to punish that by putting a very good pass to the corner right here, which again leads to another good shot. Good pass by Castle. And so I think he'll be a very solid passer as well in the NBA. And so we get to our third area, which is kind of like an intangible slightly. This is kind of like feel for the game. It's like he's got a very good understanding of, of where to be and when to be there. And he kind of just finds gaps in the defense when the defense puts a little too much like there's three players surrounding this player right here and he just kind of slightly finds his space in there didn't get the original pass but then ball gets reset and again zero just kind of vacates the area and he's in like he just finds good space when there is spacing available spacing to be had 
and obviously a great finish as well. I think a lot of this is seen from his time at UConn as well, is they have a very good understanding of the system, whether that's people hurriedly recruits or what. But as we can see, Castle was out of bounds and came back in. And again, the defense is just kind of like paying way too much attention to the ball. And he just finds a little space underneath. Okay, so after the layup, he just finds a little space in here. Just like goes and immediately go back to the corner. He's like, oh, no one's here. I might as well go here. And a good pass from 19. And again, good body control and a good finish as well. And these are the kinds of plays that are very difficult to measure because it's not like just shooting threes or it's not just clean passes. It's having a feel for what's going to be open and when it's going to be open. All right, so as we go in transition right here, he has a good feel for where to be. He realizes this player is probably going to take a layup. And so sometimes the best place to follow is essentially right behind them because if they miss, it's going to go straight down right there. And Castle's tracking this the whole way. Like he isn't just coasting. He's following immediately and he realizes these players are going to go contest and he's got this open space to work with. And so a lot of times getting rebounds, getting getting passes like that is simply being in the right place at the right time. And it's very difficult to measure, but I think Castle has a good innate feel for the game. And so then if his passing is good, if his driving is good, if his cutting is good, what's the big potential weakness that I see? And the reality is the big potential weakness is his three-point shooting ability. Okay? He is a very, very good player all across the board, except he does not shoot a very high three-point percentage. Didn't at UConn, didn't shoot a very high volume or good three-point percentage. And I don't think he's going to in the NBA as well. It's a longer arc. It's defenders that are longer, more athletic. And so the reality is, if I'm the Spurs, I am literally essentially having Castle shoot 100 threes a day just to get more efficient because that will create so much more opportunities for the rest of his game. If defenders start sagging off, it could cause a lot of issues because it clogs the paint, makes it less likely for him to be able to drive, etc. So if he can unlock his ability to shoot this kind of three, I think it creates so much more potential offense and potential benefit for him in the long run. If you enjoyed this, I'm going to post a video right here on Dalton Connect and his potential impact. Feel free to like and subscribe, and most importantly, have a blessed rest of your day.